welcome to PC Wits Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the new flagship CPU from AMD, the Phenom 2 1100T. Now this one here is 3.3 gigahertz, the base clock, but it has turbo enabled, so it goes up to 3.7 gigahertz. It's a six-core desktop CPU. Okay, still using the AMD 3 uh, socket, 45 nanometer architecture, and it has six megs of level 3 cache for a total of 9 megs. Here is the wattage and the voltage range of the CPU and we're going to be putting this to test today in my test system that you see here. Okay, and this is all the different configuration. As usual, I'm using Windows 7 and in Windows 7 you can see I'm running CPU Z to go over the stats and at defaults with nothing changed in the BIOS to overclock or anything, it's in power saving mode here obviously and uh, it's running on lower power and the core obviously is running lower as well to save and conserve energy. So you can see there there's hardly any load on the CPU and the temperature of course will be low because of that okay and of course I am using a very nice CPU cooler as well that helps here is the memory timings that I'm using okay for my tests and a HD 5850 video card okay so that way you guys know exactly what the system involves uh, from start to finish Okay, so that's the hardware that I'm running it in and of course I'm testing this in inside of a case not open uh, air okay so keep that in mind alright so now when we look at the um, temperatures at defaults okay like I said it's running at a hundred percent here and you can see that the temperatures are roughly about 40 degrees Celsius okay on full load might go a little bit higher to 44 but 40 degrees Celsius roughly and on um, idle well you saw it earlier on idle it can go as low as 20 25 degrees Celsius okay so all six cores here running stable at the defaults 41 degrees Celsius is pretty cool okay so not bad at all with this latest release now if you overclock it obviously we gotta jack up the voltage and here we got 4.1 uh, gigahertz almost out of it and you can see here that it's at 56 degrees Celsius on full load and on idle it'll hover around the 30 degrees uh, Celsius mark which is also actually quite low so I'm very impressed here uh, at the results when it comes to the temperature readings it would have been nice to overclock this higher without having to increase the uh, voltage too high but 4 gigahertz is still pretty good and here's the uh, CPU scores that I've got with default and of course on the overclocked um, uh, CPU so when we compare the default and the overclocked values to other CPUs you can see here the scores in 3D Mark Vantage and where it lies it gives you a good idea on the performance basically it's just a bump up in speed of about um, 100 uh, megahertz basically from the previous AMD 6 core CPU the 1090T and because of that it's roughly only about 35 US dollars more now if we look at the uh, CPU operations in PC Mark Vantage I went in and extracted just the CPU operations per second and again it gives you a good idea here on the progression as you upgrade the CPU how much more processing power you're getting out of it especially in uh, Cinebench which makes use of the CPU cores to the maximum it's a multi-threaded application utilizes all six cores to render and you can see here the results the scores how it does better than the uh, Intel Core i7s that are listed there now same thing if you're going to use a conversion, a video conversion program, it took me about 23 seconds roughly to convert an AVI that was 1 gig to 10 meg. Okay, and if I overclock it, well, it'll save me a couple of seconds, even more. When it comes to games, well, this isn't really meant for gaming, but it performs terrific with games, right? Obviously, games are not really uh, made to utilize 100% all six cores, so keep that in mind. The, um, the scores that I'm getting here on defaults and on overclocking, there's not too much of a difference. Okay, there's not too much of a difference. It's the video card that really um, brings in the, uh, the the firepower, basically. Okay, so, um, but again, terrific results in this combination. 
great value for six cores, low heat and low energy. You can even use an old AMT uh, motherboard if you've got uh, one and they have a uh, BIOS upgrade to support the six cores. Again, it works best in multi-threaded applications. Okay, so if you're doing a lot of multitasking and you're running uh, applications that are processor intensive, then this is really what you want. Um, but it's only 100 megahertz uh, from the previous AMD 1090T, the Black Edition. So not too much uh, of an upgrade here, but still overclocked well to 4 gigahertz, great value. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for the latest and greatest from AMD for a 6 core. And I'd like to thank AMD for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.